Two weeks from today, Ohio voters will head to the polls to have their say in the state's May 3rd primary. And one of the key races is the battle for the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate. News 5's John Kosick has been following the hopefuls as they make their closing arguments to voters across the state. Last week, he caught up with Mike Gibbons and J.D. Vance. Tonight, John talks with State Senator Matt Dolan. Matt Dolan looks to wrap up this primary campaign for U.S. Senate the same way he started it nine months ago, touring the state, meeting with voters. This stop in North Ridgeville, the first of 20 over a six-day period. And we're calling this a no-nonsense tour because I can't say that everyone else has run on the issues. That, that, that it's been theater for them. Dolan is one of seven hopefuls seeking the Republican nomination, a field that includes, among others, former state treasurer Josh Mandel, businessman Mike Gibbons, author and businessman J.D. Vance, and former state GOP chair Jane Timken. Among those five, Dolan was the only one in the debate who said he wanted former President Trump to stop talking about the 2020 election, and he was the only one not seeking the former president's endorsement. That nod going to J.D. Vance late last week. They've been running a campaign to get his endorsement, and now they're, they're going to be fighting with each other to say, no, they're more Trump. The reality is, is I'm the one that's implemented Trump policies, but I've stood for who I am and for what I've done. Aside from the decision of former hopeful Bernie Marino to drop out of the race earlier this year, the field hasn't changed from the beginning, leaving Dolan and Elaine uniquely his. My message is different from everyone else in this race. Now his goal, like his opponents, is to make that message strong enough to bring state GOP voters to his side. I always knew this race was going to break late for me, and I'm very, very comfortable as to where we are. And we also look forward to bringing you the stories of the other hopefuls as they mount that last minute push in the final two weeks leading up to the May 3rd primary. John Kosick, News 5.